Okay, hi guys, I am here. Um, what I did is I sort of started the, the videos over before I lost my voice and um, to a, a really bad cold. Um, so I just redid what I had. I didn't have very much. I had like maybe one and a half. So I'm just starting over fresh, okay? So what this is, hello. first of all, hello to everybody and hello to new subbies. Um, I hope you guys stick around. I am a junk journal supplier. I supply supplies. That's all I've ever done. In my um, that's what I started out doing, and that's what I'm still doing. Um, some of the differences you'll see um, in my videos, um, you know, there are times where I'll take you guys out to um, estate sale shopping with my mom. Um, and me, we go out to all different, you know, we go out to all different, um, estate sales here locally and sometimes afar. Um, and then there are times where I will take you to a flea market, um, where my husband and I, when I don't sell things or via Etsy or if things are just sitting around too long, I will box them up and take them out to a flea market, um, and sell them off, uh, fairly cheap. Um, I also take you guys into places like thrift stores there where I live. There's just like a host of thrift stores. There's a host of secondhand sellers. It's just amazing. Um, and there's just never, it's never ending. I mean, just never, ever ending. Um, and, um, it's a lot of fun too. So you can look forward to that. I don't have a playlist or anything like that for you guys. You just kind of have to check out my Etsy channel to go see some of the, um, places that I've taken my subbies before. Um, I do occasionally will occasionally, um, I will post a video and I'll leave it up for a short time and then I'll take it down. Um, and that is, um, something that I started to do this year. Um, let's see, what else is I going to tell you guys? So this is a sale. This is a sale. It's, it's probably going to be, I thought maybe in three parts. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it guys, because there's really a lot of stuff to sell here. And, um, I have a lot that I'm trying to get out of my, out of my stash and stock. Now, one thing I will say guys, um, is that a lot of times it's difficult for me to sell things like just put it all out there and sell it because I like to do flow books. And in flow books, um, those can include any and everything in flow books. And so some things I like to sit on for a while. Um, I will have some flow books hopefully soon, um, maybe at the end of, of this, um, uh, you know, this sale, I, I might. Um, and so anyway, yeah, um, a lot of times I hold on to things just because I want to um, make sure that my flow books are eclectic and fun and there's a variety um, there might be even some things that you've seen before. Um, and that's okay. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I do. Um, I also like to recycle. So if you ever order something from me, for the most part, it's the majority of it is vintage. Sometimes there may be some, um, contemporary pieces. A lot of times there might be contemporary, um, pieces, um, in my junk journaling kits, uh, junk journal kits. Uh, but I'll also throw some recycling in there. So you may get some magazine pages from time to time and some of my favorite. Um, so I just get a lot of inspiration. I've always been a recycler, but in terms of art, when I first started selling junk journal kits um, and junk journal embellishment kits, um, there would be a lot of things that I would find to recycle. Um, and so then the kit sort of evolved into, to morphed into something that um, was, you know, really... <laughs> really genius. I'm going to say that about myself for once. Um, it really was genius. So anyway, um, I have a host of things. Now, the first thing I want to, um, share with you guys, I'm just going to start right from the get go. Um, what I'm going to do for the items, like the first part of, um, well, let me let you keep looking at this beautiful book here. Um, one of the first things I'll do is I'm going to do like a name your price. So anything I show on this video is going to be name your price. Um, and what that means is when I show it, that means whatever you think it's worth and whatever you're willing to pay for it. If it's higher than, um, you know, somebody else's, I'm going to go with the highest um, price. 
And as far as shipping goes for any and everything, I'm going to choose the lowest price I can on shipping unless you tell me priority and then I'll include that in the price of the item. Okay. Um, this sale is for the United States and all the other beautiful places, um, peaceful places in the world. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Um, hi, Canada. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. Uh, what else is I going to tell you guys? I think that's pretty much it. I want to say thank you too to the ladies who um, bought so much of my coffee dye paper. You guys are so amazing. Um, and some of you are like new and you just happened to search and found my coffee dye paper on a front page in Etsy. Um, maybe because it's a bestseller and you came over and I really do appreciate you guys. Some of you came over from Gail. Some of you came over from, um, Val. Some of you came over just from word of mouth. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I do, I do, I do, I do. The coffee dyeing, um, when I, I usually mail it out pretty quickly. Um, but when I have an influx of like a lot of orders, it's like so, um, overwhelming in the best way possible it makes me giddy actually and so those orders are going out i take them um in the order that they come in so anybody who orders you know before another person that person gets their papers first um i don't oven dry my papers fast you know the fast way the quick way the easy way um i literally air dry them naturally um and i stain them it take the, some of the staining that i get on my papers um, take a little bit of time and they're random. I, I don't, you know, there's no um, stenciling or any of that kind of stuff. You guys can do that yourselves. You can create patterns till the cows come home. You can go to Joann's and buy stencil and create that stencil on your coffee dye papers. I mean, that's a, that's, some of those are really beautiful, um, actually. And so, but for me, I just do things randomly and what feels random and what I feel at the moment. Um, I don't do this full time. It's not my um, only source of income, but um, being a literature, um, an English scholar, a literary scholar, an English professor, I can tell you that that is not the get rich profession. I'm not trying to get rich. I teach because that's what I love to do. I absolutely love my job and I never get up a day and not wanna be in my classroom with my students. Um, I teach them and I learn from them every day, every year, every semester. Um, Etsy, I started my Etsy shop, it says 2011 on my uh, banner in my Etsy store, but I really started in 2010. Um, and I started my Etsy shop because I liked finding thrift stuff and reselling it to people and saving it, you know, preserving it because... If I love it, there's somebody that's going to love it like 10 times more than I do. Um, and that's that makes me happy. And I also started my Etsy uh, shop because I like having a little bit of extra income to go out and go hunting for things and buying things um, and bringing things in that you guys like to craft with and art with and, and create your journals and including your journals. So that my thing is finding supplies. That's all I'm that's all I'm about is finding supplies for you guys and selling those supplies. Um, but I do make um, flowish books, journals from time to time. You know, how hard is that? I just slip the paper in thanks to Tammy and Rosemary. I learned how to do that. Um, and, and, and Shannon Green and uh, Shelly. I, you know, sort of picked that idea up from those gals. And um, my flow books are, are pretty amazing. Um you know, um, and I tend to save a lot of things that won't sell or isn't going to sell to add into flow books. So that's why sometimes I hold on to things. Um, not that I'm hoarding. I don't hoard. Well, I guess I do hoard from time to time. What am I hoarding? I'm hoarding some stuff a little bit, but, um, it's until I have a chance to think about it. Like I said, this is not my full-time gig, you know? Um, and so I, I like to think about things. I like to take my time. I hardly ever get in a hurry, um, you know, but, um, it, you know, there are times, um, when like now I need to move product out because there's just so much of it that I need to get it out, uh, my door, um, into the post office and into your home. So that's that. 
Um, what else is I going to tell you guys, especially for all my newbies? Oh, and I after I do this sale, I do have some kits coming. So this first video is going to be, and let's see. Um, let me just start you guys off with an opener. Um, first of all, I'm going to label these with as item numbers. So they're they're going to be out of order, you know. Um, so excuse me, sorry, I just ate. Um, if I when I um, show you something, one of these numbers will go on that item. This is all you need to refer to in your email. This is going to be PayPal only. I want to do it Etsy and anything that doesn't sell here will go into my Etsy shop and the price will go up. Unfortunately, that's just the way it has to be. Again, if you're not a seller or Etsy shop owner, ask somebody who is. Um, Etsy's fees are really, really um, high. Um, and my mom had a couple of friends who have left and um, found a different platform um, to sell on. I um, Everything is going to be PayPal um, for this sale. And um, what you'll need to do is, um, where did I, oh, you can, I'll, I'll put this all down in the bottom, but there's my, my uh, GT Designs at Etsy at gmail.com. That's my email address. And you can actually, um, it'll be in the description box below. Everything will. Um, so what I'm going to do is you'll need to send me um, an email with your real name in that email. And your email, which I'll get if you email me. So make sure you email me from an email that you want me to use in PayPal. Okay. Um, so it's PayPal only, guys. And what you'll do, if you see something that you're interested in, um, then you'll need to send me an email to gtdesigns at etsy at gmail.com. And you'll need to give me your real name and your email. Okay. And I'll get your email because, you know, put your email in there because sometimes people have more than one emails, right? And then I'll send you a PayPal invoice, and I'd like for you to pay that invoice when I do send it to you. You'll have to give me, you know, a little bit of time to get it out to you when I have a sale this big. Um, you'll have to, um, you'll need to pay it within a couple hours, okay, just so I can keep things straight, all right? If you don't pay within a couple hours, I will move on to the next person, okay? And then shipping, I'm going to keep shipping. If something can go out, um, media mail, um, like this lot of books here or this, this item, this set of books here, if it can go out media mail, um, I'll send it out media mail. Um, if not, like if I put, um, use some lace as a thank you in there, then I can't send it media mail. It's going to go out, you know, I don't know, first class or whatever's the next cheapest way to send it. Um, if you overpay for shipping anything more than $2, I will refund you. That's just how it works. Um, and really for my regular Etsy store, it's anything, it's anything over $3, I will, will refund you. Um, so if you order a bunch of stuff, you know, you have, um, several items, I'll stick everything in a priority flat rate box. Um, and those, um, usually go... Um, I think those are now like, I don't know, $15 or something like that, 14 or $15. But like I said, if I, um, if I, uh, if you pay more than what I pay to ship it out, I'll send you the money back. Um, if it's three bucks or more, if it's $2 or more, um, it just depends on, on the order and stuff. And what else was I going to tell you guys? Also, when you send me an email, if you can, please put in the subject line, this item number. So I can keep track of that. That would be really cool. Okay. And just keep in mind that the highest price on these items, that the first set of, of this sale, which is a name your price. You just put the price in that you want to pay for the item um, and what you think it's worth to you. And I'm going to go with the highest person. Okay. So um, I guess that's it, guys. I guess we should get started. I will tell anybody who's not interested in purchasing anything right now that after I finish this sale, I have some kits coming up. Um, and I'm so excited about those. I, I, they just make my mouth water. Mm. <laughs> They're going to be so yummy. Anyway, um, okay, let's get started, guys. Okay. So, um, let's see here. And I'm sorry I had to do a long spiel, guys. Spiel. Spiel. 
Um, but anyway, it just that's just how it goes. Um, I also forgot to say I will uh, show you guys a video of some happy mail that I got a few months ago. Um, and a beautiful recent um, a win um, that I got too that I, <laughs> I just... Oh, man, I'm so lucky. Anyway, okay, so this is what we're going to do. All the instructions, you guys can email me with questions. You can leave comments. Um, I'm not going to change my comments from like to dislike. Um, so, you know, just have at it. Do what you feel, honey. Do what you feel. I am not going to try to hide your feelings for you. So you can like the videos you can dislike the video or, or like the video thumbs up the videos or thumbs down the videos it's whatever you feel do what you feel but i'm not gonna um ever change my channel to where it's like or dislike i'm i'm not doing that because and i think i said that a few years back because um i want people's feelings to be heard seen <clears throat> and noticed okay so this is all name your price okay so what i'll do is i'll show you guys um whatever item is here and it's in no order this is so freaking random it's like random hopefully i can get, i think I'm, it's gonna be more than i'm gonna try to keep after this video guys i'm gonna try to keep it to 30 minutes um and that way it might go a little bit faster this one is just gonna be longer because i was you know i'm so happy to have my voice back it's still a little um raspy but my cold is over it's gone i did not have the flu i've never had the flu um, but I just had a really bad cold, like a traditional old school cold. Um, and it was, it wasn't as bad as I imagine it could be, but it, it took, um, you know, my voice away and I like to sing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm not singing today. Not today. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be the first item. So we're going to call this one item number 46. I'm not going to go through, um, you know um history and all that kind of stuff you guys can do all that yourselves also if you know me by now when i sell stuff i don't launder anything sometimes i do every now and then but you get the stuff as i find it all right and if you want to launder something you can launder it yourself i'm not doing all that okay i don't have time for that um so you just get it as it is and i really honestly like to to um send things as i find them that way you have control over what you want to um you know how you want to treat it and do it because you know my soap may not be the best soap for washing something or your soap you know your soap might be uh better than my soap okay so this is called little rabbit foo foo which i think is so cute um <clears throat> I can give you the date on this one. I'm going to try my best to go fast, guys, but we know how that goes. Let's see here. 1990, Little Rabbit Foo Foo. Um, and it's got, um, you know, it's it's used. It's been loved, but I think it is so cute. It's got a tear right here. Okay. So you can name your price on, on this lot. She's got butterfly wings. She looks very bad. Love the little playing cards thrown about. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the weather here in Texas, as I'm flipping through this, um, it is 50 degrees today. It was really nice and sunny. And then it's back to sort of cloudy and overcasty. Um, let's see. What's the measurements on this one? Seven and a half by nine and then these are standard little golden children books there's one two three four five and um i just put a bunch of bucks bunny books in here this one is 1976 and it's gotten the pages there's some um little uh creased corners there they're not dog-eared they're just creased but it's got some really nice images no pencils, no pens. This one, I really love this one. This one's more contemporary. Grandpa's, um, uh, Walt Disney Grandpa Bunny. I love this one. Look at the mushrooms and the squirrels. Or chipmunks, I guess, is what that... No, that's a rabbit. That's a squirrel. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't have time for all that stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, this one is 2007, 1951-2007, but it's got some really cute images um, in it that you guys can cut out or you can turn this into a journal. 
little golden books are like super duper duper popular um, for that you might hear people outside across the street guys because my phone picks up every noise everything so there's that one and this one Bugs Bunny and the P uh, Pink Flamingo so I'm actually getting some stuff done because my doggies are sleeping my little bishop, my German Shepherd, he's so cute. Look at this page here. But they're pretty clean otherwise. There's some soiling here. Down here at the bottom. So there's that one. And then Bugs Bunny. Just in general. And I think this one is just very, very clean and straightforward. Very neat pages for Easter. Bugs Bunny Pioneer. I think I have another one of this one, but it's more contemporary because the cover is the same, but the background is a different color. It's got a little uh, claim uh, name claim there. Well, that's really cute. Okay, so this is um, Little Rabbit Fufu. <laughs> Heard of that before. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And that's going to be item number 46. And so what you can do is um, <laughs> you can name your price for that one. Like whatever you think that's worth, um, you know, just let me know. And um, I'll send it to you for that price, um, not including shipping. Okay, there's that one. Um, then I'm just going to get down with the get down. This is a purple lot of goodies um hang on guys hold on okay this one is um it's a big bag of just purple purple goodies it's like a d stash but i would call this you know like my old school kits when i first started doing uh junk journaling kits and i don't mean digital kits i'm talking about like junk journal kits like real kits you know what i mean um this kind of reminds me of, of that. So let me just show you what, what's in here. You've got some purple lace, and hopefully you can see that. There's a good deal of it here. Some netting there. You've got um, this piece here with some green and purple. And uh, sorry, you're gonna hear horses kicking in the truck, in the neighbor's truck too. Um, you've got some of this pretty uh, wire ribbon. There's quite a bit of it there. And that's got purple and blue flowers. You've got some purple um, seam binding here in two different shades. A band, that's what I use for my flow books. You've got, um, what is this in here? Some purple florals with a little pin and some beads on it. And I just pinned it to one of my coffee dye um, cards. Um, some polyester, a cutoff, polyester cutoff in lavender. You've got uh, a unique uh, zipper in purple. I think this is going to be so long. I'm sorry, guys. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. You're shopping, right? And then this is like an old, um, beautiful pansy seat cover um, that's still, pillow covers, excuse me, with some pretty ruffle, and it's got some um, checkered, uh, what do you call that stuff? I forgot what you call this. Gingham, I think. Um, anyway, it's got some really pretty pansies. This is in really nice condition, and it's for big pillow. So you could chop this up and, and use that in your um, journal projects or art projects, book making projects. And then there is, what else did I put down in here? This pretty book that's vintage. And this book, by the way, comes from, um, look at that pretty purple and gold. I'm going to show you some other pieces um, from her. I took out all the goodies that I ordered from her that I want to use. And um, I had some leftovers, so I'm sharing those in Happy Mail. Um, and um, this I ordered because I wanted it specifically for a purple kit. 
so it's purple on this side and it's really pretty blue on this side and this is an old vintage book let's look at the year on it um, if it gives us one 1864 and I'm going to link uh, whoops Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to link her shop below um, because there's some other pieces that um, come from her. I took out all the stuff I wanted. Here's an unopened pack of uh, Rick Rack, um, the tiny, itty-bitty, tiny Rick Rack. And that's in um, like a lavender purple. There's a purple playing card piece there. That's the recycling bin. Here's some two purple daisy writing note cards, note papers. Here's some purple money. Um, here are some purple buttons. And some irises. Cards. Castle. Um, you know her name. Scooby Dooby Doo Girl. I forgot her name. Here's another redhead princess. And some hydrangea, I think is what that is. Hydrangea playing cards. Some purple paint chips with some blues in there. And purple Monopoly pieces. Put these in here because they've got purple um, ink. On, on them some purple beads these are really pretty um, these are just gorgeous I've got some of these I'm gonna put in the sale um, if you're interested in the, these kind of beads these are glass beads come on phone stop acting crazy I'm not using my GoPro to um, film this because um, um, I don't know why I'm just not right now <laughs> Um, here is some beautiful rosettes, and I think I got this in some from, I think Dolores sent me that. Somebody sent me some of that, and it's so pretty. I love those rosettes. Um, here's some more fabric, polyester fabric pieces, and these are just cutoffs. They're scrap pieces of polyester, and this is good for what Jessica uh, calls salad. You can cut this up and make salad, or you can make tags with it. You can make flip outs and flip downs. It's all purple. There's some lavender, more purple, more purple. This is like a D stash, and it's not even really a D stash. It's um, sort of like that. More there, more there, and a lot more there. Okay, and then here um, is a purple uh, pen that I think is just. Uh, great these pens write so well I love those and there's another zipper there and what else oh I guess I was bagging stuff up for purple what did I put in here uh, let's see I just go through my stash when I'm organizing and find things that um, that I want to um, include for you guys in a, in a sort of a color coded kit and there's a purple dye and some purple buttons here's a purple bag here's some more buttons here and these are um, purple on the button original button card here's a card here with some pretty lavender um, florals there and that's not signed or anything another purple card um, more of those um, note papers. There's several of those in there. More seam binding. And when I'm organizing, I just pull things out of stuff. Uh, more buttons here. I just pull things out of stuff and, and just start adding them to um, a bag. I'll put this in a different bag because this bag is really overflowing. And there's an old vintage linen with some beautiful purple butterflies on there. And this is hand done. So you can see where um, the maker has left pieces um, hanging off and where she's uh, ended a color and started a new one. Um, very, very beautiful. Very telltale. She's tied knots. 
on the pieces there. It's a very uh, telltale of hand stitched work, which is takes forever. And then this is crocheted across here, and it's in really pretty condition. That came from an estate sale. That's really gorgeous. I love buying things like this to add to um, kits and stuff. And then here's a napkin. This is vintage. Um, this is really pretty. Look at the the, um, the edges on that and then the flowers, the florals on that. My, our, sorry, you hear horses and stuff. Our neighbor, he every Saturday, they, they do a lot of horse um, selling and cattle selling and trading and stuff like that. Um, yesterday, they had this beautiful, big, humongous black and white cow. Um, usually he has the longhorns. They have longhorns, so. But yesterday he had a black and white cow that he was hauling around. And then here's this one. This is a so this is an old vintage hanky. All of this come these come from estate sales. That's um, you know they're just fun and pretty. Um, oh dear, now my husband's calling me. Hang on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My husband, he, we're almost done with the house um, that we that we um, remodeled, restored, helped restore. And um, my husband is the only one that's been working on that site now. Um, for the last, let's see, we started last June, July, August, September, October, November. He's been the only one working on that site since October, somewhere around there. Um, and I just, you know, I'm so glad that I don't have to go to help him out. Um, but he, he was just calling me. So anyway, um, anyway, it's, it's really nice. And I will show you guys a video of that footage of that. Um, I love guys. I have to tell you this. Sorry. The ladies who, again, who commented about the cats, I really, really like that because, you know, um, if I if I didn't read you guys' comment about comments about the cats, I probably would have taken those cats to um, animal control like all at once, or call animal control to come and pick them up like all at once. And I'm so glad that you guys made comments and that you love cats and stuff. I don't love cats, guys, but I love animals in general, and I don't want to, them to be hurt or to be harmed or anything. So. Um, they're just, you know, they're just hanging out. I'm going to show you guys footage of that and footage of the house that we, my husband and I remodeled, um, in Dallas, Texas. Okay. So this is a, um, napkin. Really, honestly, I, I started putting these in my kids four or five years ago, about four years ago. And my, some of my napkin, uh, uh, handkerchiefs were from my grandmother. And I said it on my video. My mom had given me, hang on, let me let this truck pass. Okay. You can even hear him shifting the gears in that. It was so loud. Um, anyway, so these are a lot of fun. But I, I, I say all that to say that Sue Olson, if you don't know who Sue Olson is, you are so missing out. Um, Sue Olson is, and I tend to mention a lot of people who really, really, um, I watched and studied to come up with the idea of um, curating junk journal kits. And Sue Olson was one of them. And I just remember her using beautiful hankies and pieces like this in, in her work. So anyway, there's that. So there's two old hankies and an old linen piece there. These are very, very 70s. I think these are, I got these at an estate sale and some office supply stuff. And they're purple. They're paper clips. And oh my God, they're so, 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 so 80s. Not 70s, 80s one or the other so you'll get two of those and here's a purple another purple book this is a reader's digest book all the pages are there I don't think I tore out anything I recycle these um, oh and that reminds me hang on guys okay I had to remember to jot down um, glue books that um, you guys like to put your stuff on top and swipe your glue over um, I, I'm going to have some of those too, as sort of like a de-stash. There'll be a lot of them, um, but this is really pretty. And um, all the pages, I believe, are in here. If there's a page torn out of here, I did it, I'm sure, but I don't think so. I'm not, I can't say a thousand percent because I tear those images out and put those on my thank you notes. Um, what else is in here? Here's a purple bag with some purple flowers on it. I'll probably use that to put some of your stuff in. Here's a belt, buckle in purple, another button, um, two purple cards. 
Um, this is just falling over. What else is in here? Oh my God. I don't, this is just going to take so long. Sometimes that's when lives work out better because you can just go on and on and on. But, um, I, I'm not sure if I'll ever do lives. I can't say never, never, ever. But, um, right now the answer is definitely not, um, because my house is not quiet. There's a lot of noise and there's no children here. Except for my nieces and nephews when they come over. And I don't do anything relative to work when they're over here. Um, it's all about them. Um, but it just it just wouldn't work for me because there's too many interruptions. Um, the husband interrupts. The dogs definitely. Um, I just I just don't think I could, I could pull off a live quite yet. But we'll see what happens. Maybe when I get my room organized. Um, and my husband can put a door up, up on that that room isn't that pretty that's from a nat geo book purple look at that pink light in the background um here's some purple bugs i had this in a nature kit before this is wrapping paper so there's some purple bugs beetles and stuff there's a purple image a ship this is the these are the kind of images i tear up and put on my um thank you notes there's some purple uh real leaves from my front yard and this actually blew into our yard from the neighbor's yard. So those are beautiful. And they're not crunched or cracked or anything. You can use those. Um, and then some of these papers. I put in some butterfly bushes. Um, hydrangeas. And lilacs. And sitting garden. I used these a long time ago. Um, in kits. A long, 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 long time ago. And it was so nice to see other ladies starting to find them and pick them up for their um, kits as well. Um, let's see. What else is in here? I love the way uh, Joanna Clough says paper and here. <laughs> I love it when she says it. I could listen to that girl talk. She is she's my hero. I love me some Joanna Clough, guys. I just love her so much. I love she's a young mom. I was a young mom like her. But not with three kids. My God. And I just think she's so, she's like an old soul. She's so smart and beautiful and calm. And she's just so, I don't know. She's just like a, she's like an old soul. And I love that, that she's such a young mother. So this is an old piece with purple and teal and um, a button there. And then you've got an envelope. Just a simple envelope. These are the kind of kinds of um, uh, elements that I would put in my junk journals in the past when I first started uh, curating junk journals. Little things like this. Here's some foods with some kind of sort of lavender, purpley colors or blue, right? And then there's another one of those pages, polka dot plant that's got pink polka dots on there. My great grandmother used to have one of those. There's a bag. And I'm looking at the time, sorry. And here is some beautiful, I put this in one of my nature kits, my uh, loaded nature kits. Um, I forgot what year I did those in, but anyway, I put these, um, this beautiful wrapping paper. It's so thin. It's like tissue paper. It's really thin, but it's so pretty. I love stuff like this. Um, this is the kind of stuff I like to put in flow books. Um, here's a purple, what is that? Love's Offering. So that's an old vintage postcard, Dear Valentine. And I know Valentine's Day is over, but I think that's really beautiful. And it's postmark 1907, I think, or 1903, something like that. There's a purple tarot card. And then these little pieces, oh, well, let me show you this linen um, piece as well. And again, um, this is something I picked up at um, an estate sale it does have a hole there but you're going to cut it up anyway um, I do love the way uh, Joanna um, Yoey puts like cut small images out of these kinds of things it's embroidery stuff um, I love the way she does that now this looks like it's mas uh, machine stitched that doesn't look like it's hand done um, I mean guys even I can tell the difference in that um, but it's got, you know, it's got a lot of real estate there for you guys to work with. So lots of fun to be had with that. And it's vintage. 
love this lavender with this cream here and then this one here is it has some beautiful lavender florals at the bottom and it's so pretty this feels like a dish towel a hand towel of sorts so you can see that one there okay very pretty um, I love how you guys make pockets out of these and flips and sometimes you even put these on the front cover so that's pretty cool I love that and then there's an old no this isn't old a new contemporary uh, clothespin that's plastic but it's so bulky and I just thought it would be really pretty you can use that maybe to hold your book pages down while you're working on something but I love purple that purple purple is my sister's color my sister is a purple person I I love green um, so then you've got these old pieces and these are just scrap pieces and this is French text and I picked out all the pieces this is really interesting rue because my family uh, lineage is la rue l little a capital R U E la rue um, that's my heritage and my background um, and I just think that this is so pretty and I picked out pieces from this lady's um, French ephemera to put in here for, to share with you guys just because it's just so pretty and um, I took out all the pieces that I wanted oh my puppy he's dreaming you might be able to hear him in the background he's so sweet he's so much trouble oh, Lord have mercy Jesus he is trouble <laughs> But he's so sweet. We just love him. He's so happy. He's really happy. And Smokey helps us out too because, you know, but poor Smokey, he's just subjected to a brand new little active puppy and he's an old dude. Um, and then you have some of these pieces in here. Those are kind of purpley. And there's some more purple writing there and more purple there. Um, I also absolutely am in love, love, love with Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. And I just, oh man, she just really is so amazing. This is all purple text there. She's just such a beautiful spirit and person. And um, I adore her art and I adore her. And um, I'm so inspired by her work as well. There's a lot of people I'm inspired by. A lot. Um, there's a purple piece there with some blue and then these little people his suits kind of a bluish he almost has that blue boy look to him and then this, I put this in here because of this purple stamp and again I um, just wanted to share this so I'm gonna link her shot because she has some beautiful uh, French uh, papers beautiful um, she wraps things so nice and neat um, and even includes a few extras in there um, that's really nice okay so that's the purple kit so let me pause it here this is going to be item number 44 and before I um, close this off let me see if I can get some of this back in here guys <clears throat> This is almost like, it's, it It really is like a de-stash, but really, to be honest, um, the polyester stuff is more of a de-stash. I just happened to collect a lot of things as I was organizing my um, Etsy, one of my Etsy rooms. So, it's kind of nice to do that from time to time because I find so much stuff and just kind of collect things as I go. Um, you know, so there's that. And I'm going to put on here, let me get the linens folded together. I can put these papers and this and this and this and this and this in that bag. All this can go in that bag, as well as these pages. And this pretty bag here. Um, stick this in there. I want you guys to see everything I'm putting in here, so... Um, you know what you're getting and all you need to do. Okay. The book pages aren't going to fit. That's okay The only thing you need to do is just email me um, and tell me this is what I'll pay for um, For item number 44 and I'll wait. I'm going to give everybody a chance to see the videos So no worries about that. There's no need to rush the only thing is is when it's all said and done and I send you an invoice you have two hours to pay for this stuff because I don't want it just sitting around 
And um, if you need for me to wait for your payday or something like that, just let me know. I don't mind doing that at all. Um, okay, so here's the linens. These are so pretty. Look at the butterflies. So beautiful. Love it. And these are really, really the um, scrap pieces that I got. This will be kind of a little bit sort of heavy. I love these blue rosettes. And then all this paper and this book. And this zipper is going to go back in here. And yes, I'm packaging this while I'm on camera. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'm sure if you guys um, can sit through um, live, um, then I'm pretty sure you can. And at least with this video, it'll give you a chance to watch and take a break and come back and watch and take a break. And I won't send invoices out until I think everybody's had a chance to kind of view the video. Okay, so there's that, and there's all the fabric and purpleness going on. Lots and lots of purpleness. There's the book. I will put this in <clears throat> this bag, and this is going to be item number 44. Okay, so I'm going to pop put this in a bag here, and I'll, I'll be back. Okay, there's item number 44, all dressed up. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's see what else we got. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you that these pages are also included in the purple pack. And that's purple lettering. Probably can't see it very well. There we go. You can see that. So there's one page of that, and it's got some nice little red corrections um, in there as well. And then I love this page. Look at that. It's, got, it's on grid paper. Very, very, very pretty. And this one, I think, is in two sheets. Isn't that pretty? So that goes in the purple pack. I forgot those. They were sitting on the table still. And these, um, these have purple and pink lines. You won't be able to see that. This is blue, but this line is purple, and so is this one. And then this one, these lines here are purple. So that's a really nice big sheet, and you can scan those, scan these, and do whatever you want with them, okay? All right, let me get the next item. Okay, and then, if, of course, if you guys have anything you want measurements of, just holler at me and let me know, but <clears throat> I'm not measuring anything. These are three scarves. Um, I think these scarves were, I'm not sure, maybe they were for some kind of, I don't know. Really, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Um, but they are beautiful in terms of the lace. They are so pretty. Um, hang on, let me get this little snag out. See, this is what takes up my time. I hope you guys can hear my voice okay. It's, um, slowly coming back. Um, but I haven't missed work, so that's good. And, and I'm not sick anymore. I'm not, um, congested or anything like that. I just sound really bad really really bad my niece was like tia where's your voice your pretty high voice she's so sweet i love my niece okay so this is um like red lace and i do mean really really red like super duper duper red <laughs> and this is silver lame i guess is what you would call that fabric and then on this side, it has a single heart there that looks like it's out of, made out of the same lace as this. So even if you don't like this lame, or maybe you might use that for a space kit or something. I mean, that's what I would probably put in a, um, a space journal. You might use it for a space journal. I would put it in a space kit for sure. Um, you know, you can still recycle and use these. So this is a name your price for that, for, for all three of these, by the way. This one is blue and gold lame. And this one has a blue heart here. And these are in really beautiful conditions. Uh, conditions. So I don't know what the intent was or what. I don't know. But this blue is really pretty. It's like a teal blue lacing. So you can cut that off and recycle that if you chose to. These are really big scarves too, by the way. If you need the measurements, just let me know, and I'll open them up and measure them for you. But, yeah. And then this one, the last one, is black and green. And I don't really like this green 
color so much um, then I do the um, the lace the black lace is just gorgeous and again anything that does not sell in this YouTube video sale I'm gonna put it in my Etsy shop or um, um, you know I have some other ideas of what I will do with it and then of course when things do not sell like absolutely don't sell in my Etsy shop over a period of time I take them again to um, um, a local bazaar that we have here in town at a flea market and it's year-round it's it's really crowded all the time so that's really pretty look at that lace how beautiful that is it looks like it's a feather Isn't that pretty and then this is just green. This one does not have heart on it like the other ones do. So, okay. And this is, again, there's so much lace to be. Look at that lace. There's just so much of it. Gosh, it's really pretty. So there's three of those. And I'm going to call this lot. Um, we're going to do this one as, let me use a recycle bag. Yes. We'll do this one as lot number 59. Okay. And that's the three scarves. So that's going to be lot 59. Let me stick these in here quickly. I will just jam them right in here. Like that. Okay. So that's lot number 59. Oh, I see why that was coming up. Because there's, there's an opening there. But we're still going to use this bag. We're going to recycle that puppy. There we go. Okay. And then, um, oh, I have these. I got these from an estate sale. Let me do these one at a time. And I have a bag. Yes, I do. Okay. So these are... They are um, vintage children's um, picture cubes, is what they're calling them. They are so cute. Let me just show you one. These are old, guys, and I got these at an estate sale, too. Here's the box of this for this one. There's some blocks there, so kids, I guess, could almost like a Rubik's Cube, could learn how to make the pictures together. All the blocks are there. And then you get these little pictures that are just kind of like... They're not laminated, but it's got some kind of plastic coating over, over it. Look at the chicken and her chicks. And then there's a cute little elephant. And there's a little kitty. And look at this little deer. I love that. That has to be my favorite. And then there's the little puppy. That's like a smoky puppy and the ladybug there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. My dog is playing with his ball. <laughs> My puppy. So there's the site. Animal Picture Cubes is what that's called. And it's in, I think that's Korean. Um, Sophia, if you watch my channel, let me put it up here close. I think that's what that is. I think that's Korean, guys. Okay, so there's that. That's going to be item number 78. And then I'll put this in a, um, a little uh, bag here. I want all of this stuff to be protected. So we'll put that in a bag. That's number 78. And then we have this one. This is really cute, too. And again, we're still on Name Your Price. Um, I haven't gone, gotten very far. Um, here's this one. And these had the rubber bands around them before I even purchased them. They were like that. Look at that pretty color. Those characters, those Korean characters. Okay. And this one is, it's got all of the blocks there. And you can make, kids can make this picture of this little cute lamb. What are you doing, Bubba? Hmm? What are you doing, Bishop Boy? Smokey's sleeping. He's tired. <laughs> He's so tired, guys. He is so tired. And then look at this little brown and um, um, caramel colored uh, zebra. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then look at this one. I love this one. This is my favorite in this 
well, these two. I'll just go ahead and show you both. They are so cute. I love this one. Look at the little mushrooms. So sweet. And then there's a little yeah, monkey. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Okay. And those again are name your price for those. They are old. Uh, no, Bishop. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. Don't chew that. I need the tripod, dude. Don't do that. Where's your ball? My, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so there's that, guys. All right, so there's that lot. And that one's going to be item number 71. So cute. So, so, so adorable. We'll put that one in a bag. And we'll keep moving right along here. So then I have, um, what else do I have for you guys? Oh, I have these, or name your price. Um, let me show you guys these here. There is a lot of, I'm going to do these in threes, okay? So you've got three old vintage um, books. This one was a records book, and then... Because sometimes people are so, anyway, they, I don't know why they put tape on old stuff like that. It just peels it right off of there. But I like this because I think you can scan this. Um, sorry guys, Smokey, he's tired. He's, yeah, Bishop wants to play and Smokey doesn't. Um, so, and I'm sorry if you hear that noise in the background. So anyway, but I think this would be really cool if you scan this as a cover. There's the spine of it. Oh, Lord, I might have to stop, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, this one measures nine, almost nine by seven and a half. And then here's the inside. And this was an old records um, cover. I don't know if that light is better or not. Oh, God, no, that's not good. I don't know what Bishop's telling Smokey, but he's telling him something. <laughs> and Smokey's telling him something else back. I imagine they're doggy cuss words. <laughs> Um, but this one has an old records um, index. If the, he keeps doing that, guys, I'm going to have to stop. I'm sorry. I'll just post what I have so far because I can't. Um, I don't want you guys, your ears to, to be. Um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so gorgeous. I don't know why that's out like that. Does it come out? I'm not sure. But they're anyway, they're old papers. And this one kind of has that. That old smell to it. I love that smell. It smells so good. It smells like it's supposed to smell. Um, so that one's really nice. And there's, again, the spine to that one. It's got some little dents there and a dent there. And then this one, these are going to be as a lot. This one is um, a photograph, um, photograph, photograph album. <laughs> get it out, Renee. And I'll show you. Let me see if I can get these guys to go out. Hang on. Okay, so the sun is out, and um, hopefully <laughs> they'll be okay for a little bit. Okay, so here's this one now. This one, this does come off of here, but look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. Um, I think this would be pretty scanned in a kit, a digital kit. Just this cover, I think, is gorgeous, and it's got that black paper in there, that old vintage black paper. No flaws on the paper. It's just gorgeous. There's a tie there, and on the back, this is still intact, and it with the spine, and then it's just really clean, super clean here. The surface is. So there's that, and if I measure that one, it's eleven and a half by seven and a half. So there's that one, and then the last one is this one here. It's red. This feels leather. It says genuine leather here. Um, it's just really pretty. I don't know if that light's better, guys, or maybe. Mm, I don't know if it is or not. Maybe that's better if I turn it that way. Yeah, so. Um, oh, 
Okay, so this one is um, like a really pretty... This is like a blood red. This is just gorgeous. And it's got one of those old uh, security spine it, spines in it. It's got some beat up pieces here. I love rescuing these kinds of things because, you know, the beautiful thing I think about junk journaling too is that when you guys rescue old books like that, you turn them into um, something new and give them a whole new life. I love the tape images. Like this would be pretty scanned um, with the covers of, of maybe all of these but this is old tape like that tape Rosemary Morris makes and then it's got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen um binder holes in them and so you just clamp those together and it opens up but I think all the pages um have that pretty um old vintage aged um patina around the pages and then it's like it reminds me of coffee dyed paper um but i like it because the tape whoever um had this took all the photos out they just wanted the photos only so um but there's still something about just these empty pages these blank pages that still hold such a lovely uh beauty um historical beauty to them look at that those little tape pieces there and whoever put the photos in there, they were very careful not to overdo it with tape, you know. Um, I don't know how many pages are in there. Some of them are blank. They didn't fill the entire album up um, because these back here um, are blank. There's one photo there. And I'm going to leave it in there like that. Okay, so there's that. So this is going to be um, lot number, oh, I didn't measure that for you, did I? It is six and a half by almost eight, um, not quite eight, and then the spine is about one and a half. Okay, so this one is going to be lot number, uh, item number two, okay? And I'm going to put this in here on a um, this thing because I'm scared to put it on top of there. Okay, so that's item number two. I'm using, I'm recycling bags, guys, that um, some of them are new and some of them um, I've had for a while. So, some other stuff. Okay. But I want to recycle them because, you know, you can, you can use them. So that's going to be item number two. All right. And then, um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I've got these. These are fun. Look at these. These are those old... Um, phone directories. I remember my father, my father that just passed away, um, my grandmother in her house, she had one of these and we used to, as kids, I used to always love to flip through it and look. These all have their, um, let me pause it here guys because I think my phone's going to die. Okay, sorry about that guys. I have to do this in increments and um, I think my dogs are, um, they're like awake now. <laughs> So I'm going to try to get through as much of this as I can. Um, they'll start scratching on the door in a minute to come inside. So anyway, I have these three pieces. Um, and I think I might do these individually, guys. I would love to sell them as a lot. But if I do them individually, maybe some of you are interested in old, vintage, retro, um, desk decor, phone decor. I mean, I love these because... No one uses this anymore. I mean, everything is stored in our cell phones, right? So let me just show you them. Let me give you the measurements first. There's a brown one. Um, this one is sort of like a faux wood grain gray and um, like a tan. And then this one has a lot of aging on it. Um, this one is the one that reminds me, this size reminds me of my uh, grandmother's, but it was in a brown color like this, but it was it was bigger. Um, and this one has some coloring, you know, aging to it. So you can see where it's been kind of, you know, just kind of not, um, well loved. Well, it's been well loved, but it's, it's aged. It's old. Um, let me go through this one first. There's the back of that one. And I haven't researched these or anything. 
So there's that one. And then this one measures, let me see, let me go from here to here. Um, oh, I would say about three and a quarter, a little bit more than three and a quarter and seven inches, okay? This one measures, it doesn't have any writing, maybe on the inside, I'll open it here in a second. Um, let's see, four and a half by seven and a quarter. And this one, I'm going to have to let my dogs in. And it, this one even has a little bit of a burn mark on it. This is where you would hang it up on the wall. My great grandmother, my grandmother, my father's mom had hers in the hallway on a desk in the hallway. She had some really old, cool vintage stuff. This is four by seven and a quarter. Okay, they all open up. <clears throat> so what you would do is dial whatever letter you want, push it, and it pops open. Um, and then here, this one has a lot of writing on it. They all do. So they, there's some numbers and stuff in there. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to protect names and stuff. I don't have time for that. Um, but, you know, it just it is what it is. So there's a lot of numbers and old numbers and stuff. Probably most of these people... You know, or unfortunately, and I'm not trying to be funny or anything. Seriously, they're either in nursing homes or they're not here anymore, I suppose. And some of them may well, very well be. But that one closed down, closes down. Let me see here, guys. Smokey, he's so mad, guys. He's really not happy right now. He's so grouchy. Okay, so that one closes. He's happy. Him, he and um, Bishop play really well together, but sometimes he's older, and so he's he's tired a lot, too. This one has a lot of dust on it, and this that's how I got it, just like that. So whatever um, letter you, it lands on, we'll do M, and it opens right up. This one um, doesn't have any writing on it um, at all, so it, it, never, it was never used. I love this one. I like the size of it. This, this this is real genuine obsolete stuff. It's old vintage desk decor. It's obsolete. We don't store numbers like that anymore. Um, it's a metal phone book. I don't know if a magnet, yeah, a magnet cleans like right to it, to them. So they're metal. Um, and they're just really cool. They're so cool. And then this one has writing in it. I know for sure. And then I'll, I'm going to um, pause the video guys so I can let Smokey in because he's not happy right now. So there's that one. And then if you push this little thingy, it pops right open. This one is older. I think I suspect it has a lot of, um, let me see. There's some handwriting there. Maybe this is the one. I don't know. This, Yeah, it's got handwriting in there. But I thought, yeah, there it is. It does have a lot of handwriting in there. There's Stella's work. And it's got some X's and outs where they corrected numbers and things. Maybe the number changed or the address changed. So these are really fun. I just love stuff like this. And again... I like it because it's obsolete, you know, they're, th these are like, they're never ever going to be made again, um, because we don't use things like that anymore. So there's that, um, name your price. I'm going to label these as item 24, item 55 and item 107. Okay, that's to keep it all random and good. So I'll let that sit there for a second. And then I'll put these in individual bags. Um, so let me just do that quickly. So there's 24, the brown one. And I'm using up all my, I'm recycling, using up all my bags, guys, that I have because I have so many of these. I need different sizes though. There's that one. That's item 55. 
Sorry, guys. You'll have to just deal with Smokey. Just give me one second. He, he's my big baby. He's mad. He wants to come inside now. So I'm going to have to stop the video and let him in. And then there's 107. Okay. So there are the three of those. Um, and you just tell me what price. You email me and tell me what you want to pay for these. What you think they're worth. Um, the nice thing about doing this video or doing the sale this way for me, I'm not, I'm just talking about me personally, is that it'll give you time to research these, to maybe look them up. Um, I don't think that there were names in these. I'm pretty sure there are, probably underneath the first A flap or something. If you want to see that, just let me know. Um, but this one has it on the bottom, okay? So anyway, there's that. Okay, let me get the next items. I'll be back. All right, guys, okay. So they're settled down now. So um, they're outside um, chewing on a carrot. <laughs> they love carrots. We don't give them too much because they have sugar, but they get one every now and then. They love them. Okay, this set of dominoes, I posted these. This is a box that came from um, the university. A lot of times when um, there's mail um, there, people don't want the boxes. So I usually pick them up for my mom and me. So these dominoes are so pretty, guys. Oh, I love these. They're really old. Oops, sorry. That was loud. I'm so sorry. That was loud for my ears. Um, they measure. The whole set is there, but I don't have the box to these. I posted these on Instagram. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> let's see. They're about an inch little bit more than an inch um by two um and they're so pretty let me take a couple of them out so you can see what they look like i sold a set recently um that was a old vintage set aren't those beautiful um i haven't ever you know in all my years of selling i've always sold dominoes and stuff but i haven't ever seen um, dominoes like these before these are really beautiful and the estate sale where I got these um, I don't even know if I post that video yet oh, I'll have to look and see guys I go to so many sales this sale was actually while I was on my way to school to teach and so I went after school <laughs> it was like wow um, but they're really pretty um, they've been loved so you can see where they've been Somebody has slammed them down and maybe called a, they didn't call a dirty 30, but maybe they called like a fish and bread or something like that. <laughs> fish and bread. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So there are those. And the whole set is there. They're so beautiful. Look at them. They're really beautiful. I love dominoes. I've always sold dominoes in my, my um, Etsy store. And um, it's because I think they are so pretty. These are new. I just got these. Well, not new, but these were in a state so fine. Um, but I just, I just think they make such pretty decor in like a game room or a sports room or something like that. So there's that. And they'll come in this box too. Of course, I'll fix it where they don't slide. So those are really worth something. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you to name your price. And those are going to be um, item number 308. Okay. Okay. My dogs are happy, so you you will hear them playing. Um, so Bishop really torments Smokey. That's the bottom line because he's so young and frisky, and he's so energetic. And Smokey's like, you know, he's like an old man. My husband and I say. Anyway, um, these are crown dominoes, and the box is really, really distressed and old and used and. Someone has tried to put masking tape to hold it together. It's missing a little flap here. Um, this is the, the box where masking tape sort of holds it together. Um, all of the dominoes are here. These are wood, excuse me, wood, black and white, black and white dominoes. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm burping on camera. Um, I love these because look at the crowns on those. Aren't those pretty? And the fleur de lis. Um, here and here, they're just gorgeous and they're all there and these are in really good shape, like super duper, duper good shape. Okay. So there are those and that's going to be a name your price on those. Um, that is going to be item number 
three ten. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that on there because at this point, and this is just coffee dye, um, a splash of coffee dye that dropped on there. Um, you know, because the box is like, it's all, it's so, it's, it's been like, it's been had. Let's just put it that way. It has been had. But there's a lot of ha having to have with these dominoes, I think. Um, I just love them again for like game room decor. I love them for um, all kinds of stuff. You know, sports room decor. I like them to actually play. I love playing dominoes. It's so much fun. Um, and um, I'm from the old school. So we used to sit in the front yard and play them. Um, and it, it was just so much fun back then. Um, okay, these are um, made in Thailand. Dominoes, uh, double nine, non-toxic. Here's the front of the box. <clears throat> and there's the side. And there's that. And these are tiger. They have the paper in there, which is always a nice. This is always a bonus, a plus when you can find and keep all the original paper um, with these. These are kind of, I guess they're plastic. But look at the tiger on those. Aren't those nice? Those are really cool. You guys see that? Aren't those cool? Whoops. He's upside down. There we go. Okay. So there are those. And those are all there. And this is a name your price. So this is going to be item number 62. And let me get a bag for that. Um, okay. I'm not going to put tape on the box to close it, but I will put it on this plastic here. Um, in your uh, email to me, just make sure you put the item number on there and I'll know which one to grab. And these are, these are really popular and they're, you know, I, I don't know why, um, I've never listed these on my Etsy, um, in my Etsy shop before these dominoes. I've done them sort of like, um, at least these last three boxes as these stashes. So these are really cool. These are called has, uh, what is that? Wholesome, uh, double six worldwide dominoes. And here's the box. I love these a lot. There's the tape. And I love these. Look at the world on these. And these are in such good condition, guys. They're just so pretty. These would be good for traveling charms. If you're making a charm um, for traveling or something like that. Here's that. Aren't those pretty? It's like in the past I've had my my husband cut things for me cuz you know he's a he's a carpenter but he remodels houses too um so he's kind of you know he he does everything my husband guys he he does everything I can't wait to show you the house um that he's pretty much done by himself of course with me I help too a little bit <laughs> but he is just so amazing in the past when I've had things like this and I'm trying to think like how can I get the most use out of it out of it but be efficient with the use of it like you could cut these in half with a saw and just have this little world and that one um feature their number feature there i think that would be really cool because these are these are um these are wood that's one reason i love uh jessica rap and rosemary morris and um shannon green and um there's somebody else. They like they could probably shop in the hardware store and <laughs> find all kinds of stuff. I don't get it. But they could probably find like everything in there. You know, they use saws and I think Shanna Green one time I was watching her video and she used uh Oh man, I don't know what it was. It was some tool she used. Um and it's like that is you know, that's yeah, she incorporated it in the art. And Rosemary and Jessica Rapp do it all the time. It's so funny. I think it's so cool. But anyway, yeah. So you can saw those in half if you wanted to or collect them. These are going to be item number 11. I love talking about ladies that I'm inspired by. Um, I'm not trying to be 
um, name droppy or uh, what's the another word name droppy or um, biased or anything. I just you know it's just different things remind me of different artists. There's so many of you, um, so many things I see that remind me of you guys, and I sometimes I just have to I have to do it. So that's item number eleven. Okay, let me pause. Okay, you're going to hear my dogs, guys, because now they're inside. Okay, so this is a lot of two um, Lion King books. And this one is, there's this, the way it looks there. This one, these are pretty contemporary, but the pages are in really beautiful shape. There's no pages missing. So if you're a Lion King fan, and I know this, some of you are. This is 2000. Uh, my very first Simba stories. This one has beautiful pages as well. So no pens, pencils, none of that stuff. And I'll give you the sizes here in a minute. This is 2000. Okay. Um, where's my ruler? Oh, here we go. I have several of them here. Um, this is... Um, uh, eight and three four by eight and three four. This one is six and a quarter by eight and three four. Okay, so there's a lot of two of those, and these are going to be item number. Um, I don't know if I can get my sticky off here, these are going to be number 19. Okay, um. Oh dear, I don't have the back for those. Hang on, guys. Okay, let's see. This is number 19. Ooh, what are you doing, little boy? He just drank a lot of water. They were outside. That's not going to fit in there, so I'll have to put those in a different bag. Okay, so that's going to be number um, item number 19. And then you guys will have a chance. Um, Wait, what am I talking about? Oh, here we go. You guys will have a chance to get some throwback 1970s. Um, these are really fun. These are macrame crochet purse um, tops. So these are so fun. These are dated from the 70s. And I'm going to label this one measures. Well, I can give you the measurements right here. Um, materials, finished dimensions, 12 by 14 with handles. And it gives you the um, pattern and everything on how to crochet it right there. So, it's so these are so cool. Remember these? And then there's some letter stickers in there that you can put that have obviously came off of the original. This is unopened. So, anyway, for those of you who like throwback um, to the 70s, um, this is probably, uh, you know, your thing. And you can crochet through this little hoop right here. So that's going to be item number 52. I could not let this pass up. I had to have that. <laughs> that's one. And then this one is a purse handle. Remember these guys? Well, you know what this is all about, right? Um, these are those old purse handles that were, oh my God, that were so, 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 so 70s. Um, if you can see that. And it says fabric handle. Um, fabric handbag handles suitable for this style and then it gives you the pattern of how to make it there so hopefully you guys can see that okay I don't know which light is better but hopefully you can see that no Bishop don't do that no go over there go get Smokey go annoy Smokey go get him um, so there's that and this is going to be item number 28 and this is still name your price. Okay. This is all still name your price um, on these. All my staples are out of there. Let's do this old one. Okay, so there's that. And um let's see there's those and then i have what else do i have for you guys oh since we're on the 70s hang on guys hold on i got something to show you 
Okay, so um, with these, hang on, let me get situated here. These are, I think April will appreciate these people, uh, artists like April and um, and Marcia then and there. Most of you will. Um, I'm trying to think who else have I seen where I was inspired to even think about picking this kind of stuff up from time to time. Anyway, uh, those two girls... I have altered things like this before, I think. And um, there's somebody else who has done this. And I can't remember. And I'm really sorry. But I'm just trying to move it along for you guys. So these are all like old. Oh, of course. What am I thinking? Um, uh, Liz Drake. <laughs> Liz Drake has done some altering with this kind of stuff before. Duh, Renee. Um, anyway, so I was inspired to look for these kinds of things like last year, early last year. And, um, this is what I found. Let me turn the light on again. Oh, it's just not, it's sunny outside guys. But if I open my curtain, it's going to put a blue, let me see. Maybe it's dark enough now outside where it won't put that blue. Sh Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Sorry guys. I'm burping that blue shadow. Yeah, that might work. Okay, so, okay, so these are the ones that I found um, um, just around. So, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do, let me divide these out really quick. So, these are kind of similar. That one has a black one. Um, let's see here. This one, I don't know, this one is, there's a black there. This one has the cannabis burgundy one. And, and then we'll do with these, because these are really fun too. We'll do this leather. I love this coach purse. Oh my God, I love that coach purse. And this one over here. And we'll do this black one with this one. Or actually we'll do this black one with that one over there. Okay. This material, um, I don't know, it's just like that. It's patent leather, I guess. Something like that. Okay, so this this set here, this is going to be item number eight. This one has, okay, let me do measurements. These are so fun, guys. And um, they actually have um, set up for a while because I've had them for a while. And I just, I don't know, I just love the idea of converting things or altering things, as you guys say. It's just so cool. You, these are even inspiration to create something like it in terms of paper, I think. Um, okay, let's do measurements here. We've got this one at... These are like folios, I guess. Eight and a quarter by ten. And then this one opens up. It's got, you know, little pocket gadget thingies here whoops sorry <laughs> it would help if i was showing you right it's got this little pocket gadget thingy here that removes and comes out uh the name on there is that okay so there's that sorry guys you probably can hear if you hear like noise in the distance it's across the street over the way my phone picks up all that noise all that sound and then a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here and this has an insert here and then here and then there's a pencil thingy and there's something you can put here and then this stuff here okay so there's that one this one it, I gave you the measurements for that one. Okay, yeah. So here's this one. This one measures. This one's really heavy. Um, seven and a half by nine and a half. The spine on this one is really big. It's like two and a half. And it's still got all of the old paper in it um, over here. There's some space there. And I love these because it's so like 19... 80s 90s reschedule reschedule today 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 luckily we you know people still use this kind of thing uh, not this one but a planner you know what i mean 
So this one has like address papers, expense details, auto mileage and expense, um, calendar, 1983, um, to be done, assignments, homework, I think that's what that's it, no, assignments, delegation, I have homework on the brain, of course, oh my god, I've been helping my sister with her nursing homework, guys, she's working on her um, nurse practitioner's uh, master's degree in nurse practitioning, and um, I've been helping her out with PowerPoints and, oh my God, all kinds of stuff. Voiceovers, that kind of thing. And it's so, oh, it's not something that I really enjoy doing. I'm not going to lie. And she knows it, but it's worth it to help her out. Anyway, this kind of folds out. So you get this old 1990s paper. Like these papers would be really cool if you took them out and put them in. Um, Hang on, guys. Let me take off my shirt. It's hot. And here, the sun is out outside, and I have on a very thick fluorescent um, sweat chop, sweatshirt, sweat top. Okay, so this one <clears throat> says number each item, and, you know, it's just got a lot of paper in it, you know? And look, it's got one of these little clear pockets in there, and some um, file tabs, and that kind of thing. There's some stickers, office clothes. Blank stickers, vacation, birthday, wife's birthday, husband's birthday, <laughs> anniversary. My husband, we don't celebrate any of that. We don't go to malls. We don't shop at malls. As a matter of fact, I wear the same clothes every week to school. And I'm a professor. <laughs> I wear the same clothes every week. I just rotate them, mix them up. I wash them every other night. And my students, they just think that it's just so odd. They they just really think that's odd. And I tell them, I don't shop at malls. I am not giving my money to malls. Forget about it. I prefer secondhand stores. I've always been that way. Um, my, and it probably comes from my grandmother's forcing me to wear big ruffled dresses and stuff as a kid. I was always dressed up. Um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, um, my great-grandmother and my grandmother bought me all these beautiful pregnant clothes. Oh, God. I just, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, guys. I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. I don't think that has to do with age. I think it just has to do with being a little bit more cognizant and conservative about material things that just aren't worth the money sometimes. But that's me. So many people, my sister's the opposite. Okay, so here's this uh, binder thingy right there, as you guys can see that. One of the places that I, the first thing I do when my mom and I go to estate sales is I go to offices. I love to look at the paper and office supplies, old office supplies. So there's that. This is really cute. I love this. This is leather. And there's the front, or the front, there's the back, there's the spine. This is a really nice leather piece. I think this would be so cool turned into a journal. It's got just two pockets here. And look at it. It's just so ready for a needle to be stuck down in there and some papers bound in there. Um, this And it smells really good. It smells like rawhide leather. This one measures six and a quarter by seven and a half. I love this one. That's my favorite probably. And then this is a coach purse uh, wallet. I love this too. Oh my God. And I picked this up because April, I think, turned some old purses into journals. She's done it. I, like I said, Marcy has done it. It's so amazing how they do that. It's just freaking awesome. This is a checkbook cover. So it's got a pocket there. There's the coach um, original real coach uh, brand symbol there and there it is in there and it says right there uh this one says copyright or is that copyright what is that i don't know what that is and there's a insignia there and then right here it's coach right there and it says coach here and then it's got some beautiful use marks on it that I think just make it so perfect. You know, too, too tiny to be a TN, but wouldn't that be a good purse journal? Okay, so that's going to be item number eight. Guys, that's item number eight. I'll stick that in a bag in a second.
And then this lot here, let's look at the first one. <clears throat> this one is um, pink and black. Um, there's the back of it, Milano series. And again, this is Name Your Price. I don't know what that is. And then when you open this one up, it's a it's like a photo album. It says acid free. And it's got all of these beautiful pockets that you can stick things in. Can you guys see that? There's like a ton of them. There's a lot. So this measures, I love these. These are cool to put flowers, press flowers in. You know, you could like press your flowers in, in, in here and then have a label or of sorts there. So that's really just a photo album. And it measures, I think it would be cool turned into a journal. I'm telling you, Liz Drake did that. She, she, she like dismantled a, what do you call it? A planner. She dismantled seven and a half and turned it into a new one. It was really cool. Uh, nine and a quarter. All right, let's see. I got a few minutes before I have to um, stop and. Okay, this is just a staples thing. Um, so you can put something down in here. It's, got, it's an old school pocket here. Space there. It's got a zipper pack here. And a pouch, pencil pouch there. Pocket, 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 pocket. I think these are so cool for um, flip books and journal books and those things folio things you guys make i think those are so amazing there's a pocket there and a blue one and then there's paper and a purple one and an orange one and more paper <laughs> look at the paper there's a yellow one and more paper look at that and then at the back there's another pocket right there okay so think about that this measures these are so 80s and 90s. Eight by nine. My dogs are sleeping, guys. <laughs> My God, they settled down after that carrot. This, I love this one. I think this is really cool, too. So this one, let's see. Oh, man, this one is really nice. This one has... a. Pocket here, pencil holder here with um, a space, a space, and a space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, binder bringy thingies. And there's a clear ruler, and there's a clear pocket. I love these. I think clear pockets are fun. Those are really cool. And then it's got tabs in their color. So it says... Oh, geez, I can't see that. Address, phone, values, goals, and then there's more paper, value. Look at the paper. Can you see the paper? This is so cool. This is so 1993. Personal information, medical records. There's some yellow paper. Look at that. That's really nice. And it's dated 1983 at the bottom. And then look at this. Now this, um, when I got this, I mean, all of these, when I got these, that's how they, they were like that. They were just kind of getting ready to go to the landfill, man. So you might want to either take this out and, and, you know, clean it up a little bit or what have you. But I love these. I think those are really cool. And then over here it has a pocket and a pocket and another pencil holder. And that's it. And then, oh, measurements. Did I measure that for you guys? I did, didn't I? Did I? I don't remember. Eight, yeah, yes, I did. Eight by nine and a half, or maybe I didn't. Okay, and then this one, oh, my phone's going to cut off. This one is, someone cut this piece of leather out here. I don't know why they would do that. And then there's these pencil holders. So this looks like, and look at the little, um, what do you call that when they do the leather? Hammered leather, I think is what that is. I can't remember. Hammered leather or something like that. Well, anyway, it's got a pocket here, pencil holder here, and some kind of other holder thingy there. And then this. I think this is so worth gutting all this out 
and turning that baby into a beautiful um okay guys so i left off with this one um it's frayed around the edges there you can see but i think this would be really cool gutted out um and this turned into um, a journal cover you can see that beautiful leather there and um the hammered um images there i'm not sure what this is maybe something was set on it for a long time i'm not sure and then it's got these marks here and here and then look at that beautiful work there isn't that pretty okay there's that one and then the last one this one is a little bit more problematic because it sure does like to pick up um, all of the dust from everywhere and tarnation it's a um, Kenny I guess that's what that's called a Kenny purse and it's got paper in there still it's got a little pocket in there and some of those little old photo um, um, pockets there's a pocket here there there's some of the old paper you can rip those out and then there's a pencil holder and then there's a pocket here okay so this one I think is really cute too but it it that one I think would take a lot of patience at least for me it would <laughs> okay this is gonna be I'm gonna call this um, <clears throat> excuse me lot uh, not lot item 10 okay that's what that one is and then I have, oh Lord, how am I going to show you guys all the Christmas stuff? I have a whole bunch of Christmas stuff, a lot. Um, let me show you these three books first, and you might want these. Um, these are Exploring the Universe. And this is going to be one item altogether. Fact Finders, Out of Outer Space. I almost said out of space. Lord have mercy. Oh, I'm not full. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise. This is great. Um, I love these kinds of books. And then this one, let me just flip through this one really quick. Hang on, guys. Whoops. Hang on, guys. Okay, I had to turn that the right way. Okay, so then this one, the Exploring the Universe... Don't hit my camera, little boy. Um, this one is really nice. This one almost feels like a textbook, kind of. Um, but it's just great. Red Planet. Of course, you know, all the talk of um, Space Town is people colonizing um, Mars. That's like a real thing, you know, because we're destroying Earth. I mean, it's pretty much already destroyed. Um, and so when we're, we've depleted Earth, people, um, Bishop, golly, people are, with money particularly, will be able to migrate um, and move to Mars, allegedly. So, so this is this one. And those are the three. Did I, I showed you guys this one, right? That one has a um, name in there. I love these books so much. They're just so much fun. Let's see what else is in here. So Smokey is sleeping now and Bishop is walking around looking bored. <laughs> looking for something to get into I guarantee it he has plenty of toys but <clears throat> so those are fun and these I think I put together space kits um, curated space kits in the past and um, they're fun and I've always told this story one of my favorite sales was of a retired female in Florida retired um, um, aerospace in 
aerospace engineer and I just have always been impressed by her and that so anyway this is going to be lot 82 <clears throat> so there's that and I'll put a rubber band um, around here so there's that one and then oh gosh guys look at this you're gonna love this this is so beautiful are you just yawning mr yawn man what are you doing hmm what are you doing cute boy so this is um i got this at an estate sale this is an apron no don't whine i wasn't talking for you to whine no don't mm -hmm. no bishop yeah you need to stop um, this is really pretty. Um, this is um, an apron. And I've I've sold a large piece like this before, but it had a lot of um, material to it. Um, this is an apron. And this is all hand-stitched, which I love. So I'll show you the back here in a minute. But you can scan this, guys, and maybe even shrink it down. Look at the butterfly. Are you yawning or are you whining? Hmm? Go Mimi. Andale. Go Mimi. Andale. Sweet. Mama's trying to do some stuff, man. Um, okay. And then here um, is a butterfly here. And then this is the top. And look at these colors. They're so retro. Oh, my God. Hang on, guys. I'm going to let him out so he can go and use the bathroom. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, so anyway, you could scan this. I think this is so pretty. And I love these um, oranges and yellows and pinks. Very, very retro. Here's the top of it here where it goes around your neck. And then it's all hand crocheted. Look at that pretty butterfly there. And I love this this um, sort of a... It, well, it's silhouette-like, I guess you could say. Because it is showing her the side profile of her. Um, I think her hair, I don't know if they colored it like that. Can you guys see that where it's, it's kind of, um, sort of a cream sickle orange here and then lighter here. It's just really interesting how that came out like that. And then there's her dress and there's the side and there's the back of it. And here's all that beautiful hand stitching. Look at that. How neat that is. It's just gorgeous. So beautiful. Look at the butterfly and the little knots tied off here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's a closer look at her dress. And that's where you can tell that it's hand done. Just really, really pretty. And there's her pail, her garden pail and flowers. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm not going to measure this because it would just be too cumbersome for me to do that. If you absolutely need measurements, just holler at me and um, I'll, I'll get it done for you. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it up because it's just so pretty. And I think you could you could just scan that and, and use it over and over and over and share it with friends. You know, I think it would be cute for a shabby chic journal as well, a garden journal. Um, whatever you wanted it to be. There's a lot of options there. And that's going to be item number 400. And I'm just going to roll that puppy up. Roll that baby up. And um, stick it in here. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Stick it in here. <laughs> Love the way Yolanda says here. Paper. <laughs> There's that. Okay. Okay, so that's number 400. I think that is so beautiful. And that came from an estate sale. All right. Um, what else do I have for you guys? Let me see if I can bring some Christmas stuff in here. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's going to be a lot, guys. And then I may stop, and I'll try my best to make another video as long as I have light. Because um, I could use this um, house light. But I don't know if it's um, 
you know, I just don't know how things are going to show there. And then I'll probably, um, like wake early in the morning as soon as the sun comes up and continue on. This is going to be long. It's just going to be long. I, I just have way too much stuff. Next time I'm going to try my best not to accumulate so much stuff, um, and just go from there. So anyway, I'll be back with some other stuff in a second. Guys, the Christmas stuff is too overwhelming. I'm just going to have to do that a different time. It's just too much. And a lot of it I got from um, a state sale so, um, and thrift store. So I'll try my best to get that together. Um, in the meantime, um, this is what I have. This is hand stitch. Um, it says, if all our troubles were hung on a line, you would take yours and I would take mine. Um I like the stitching. I'm not sure about the saying, this, um, you know, sentiment or whatever, but I love the, the stitching of the clothes. Look at the socks and the sun. I love the stitching on the side there. This is in a frame. And then it's got some um, kind of checkered pieces and little flowers and crisscrosses. And this is all hand stitched. Look at the little flowers here and stitches and but the flowers are there and little purple ones. Um, I was going to take it out, but I'm going to leave it as it is. You can take it out. I mean, I could. Um, but, yeah, if you want me to take it out, let me know. And I'll do that for you. Otherwise, whoops, I'm hitting my, I keep hitting my pencil girl. Pencil girl, I keep hitting her. You know? She's like, what's up with you, chick? Okay, anyway, so... Um, this one is going to be name your price. That's a hand stitch and this, um, fabric that it's stitched, um, that these stitches are, the art is stitched into, looks like it might be linen or muslin. I'm not sure, but this is going to be item number 30. Okay. So that's all hand done. Beautiful. And just let me know if you want me to take it out of the frame. I am more than happy to do that for you. No problem. Um, and then I have, let me see here. Hang on guys. My box is getting kind of big here. Kind of full. Um, I have one of those Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. Oh my God. Holly Hobby. <laughs> Holly Hobby. Your price for this one. Um, um, just, you know, tell me what you'd like to pay for this. And, um, just keep in mind that I reserve the right to say, nah. Okay, um, it's, it's just going to have to work that way because I'm a businesswoman too, you know, and trying to, to make a profit off of, off of some of these pieces as well so that I can keep shopping. Um, but anyway, you can name your price on this. And most of you saw this and you saw what I paid for it, um, perhaps. But just give me a reasonable offer on it. Um, it's a, a genuine Holly Hobby piece. It's a quilt. You can actually do this quilt and put it together um, and make a quilt. Um, it's called Cut Sew Quilt. And it's never been opened. Of course, I just put a hole in it right there. But the paper is protecting the fabric. Um, and then it has all of the thread that it needs and everything for you to stitch and, you know, just whatever you need to do. Um, there's the title of it there. I think this is from the 80s. Uh, 70s. 1972. Okay. So that's going to be item number 20. And I think that's fun. If you love Holly Hobby or if you're making, you're making um, children's, um, you know, children's books or that kind of thing, this would be really a lot of fun. Mm. I think to incorporate in your, in your journal making. Okay. And then I have a lot of four. Oh my gosh, my dogs are scratching. They just went out. Now they want to come back in. Okay, so I have a lot of... Now, two of these are empty. <clears throat> Let me show you. This one is, is empty, right? But it's got it's that three ring binder garden. I sold these. Oh, I got... I just came up with this idea. I just used to grab whatever. Um, and it was a really good idea because my buyers really like these. Um, and then I saw other ladies grabbing these, um, in there to put in their kits to sell and they're just fun. People love them. So this is just the binder. So that's one binder and these measure, I didn't tell you the measurement of that Holly Hobby quilt, did I? Um, just ask me if you really need it. It's eight and three, four by, 
um, nine and three, four. Okay, so there's that one that's empty. This one is empty. This one is um, a success with house plants. It's this is really nice. I like this one a lot. This binder is empty. It's just got two prongs there, but it's just gorgeous. I love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, this is probably from the nineties, maybe eighties. It's seven and a half by nine. And this one has plenty of papers in it. And um, they are just, you know, it's kind of like a mixed match. Um, there's some handwritten stuff, bleeding hearts, 40 degree shade. So it's got somebody's notes in there, but it's just all kinds of papers. And the nice thing about these, um, when I pick them up, way back way back way back double 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 way back when I picked them up because I thought they were I was I had recycling in my mind and I like the images on them but I also like them pick them because they you know have the fold out so you know you can easily sew that into your journal and it just fits perfectly like already with these beautiful images on there or you can cut some of those images out if you wanted to it's just whatever you want to do but um, I just love recycling stuff like this. I just think it is so much fun and so cool. Um, and I started out picking things out like this like a long, long, long time ago. Four or five years ago. Four years ago. Okay, so there's that. And that has a bunch of different um, papers in there. Okay, so that one has some um, papers. And then I got... Whoops, this wants to fall on the floor. Um, and then I got um, this one. I included this one. I think there's one more. I'm missing one. I'll go grab the other one. This one is just a, a botanicals roses. And <clears throat> this just has like roses. It's just roses, roses, roses. Every page is roses. <laughs> Who knew that there were so many types of roses? Um, but there are, so... You know, there they are. It's a bunch. It is a lot. Ooh, these are pretty. How beautiful are those? Love those. Those are pretty. So, yeah, that that's that. I think there's miniature roses in here, rose bushes, and all that kind of stuff. So, those are really pretty. And these, I think, are good um, pages to put in your journals. Or you can cut these out and use them as embellishments. That's what I would do with them. Um... You know, just a ton of fun. There's a lot there. There's one other book. Hang on. Okay, so um, that's the Roses book that goes with this lot. This item set. Um, and then there's this one, Landscape Problem Solver, a plant-by-plant -plant guide. And then this one just has all kinds of beetles and bugs and butterflies and more beetles and beetles and beetles and all kinds of things that might harm your plants um it's just it's a compilation of a lot of stuff so i'll put it that way lots of images mostly black and white um you know what i mean so yeah look at that isn't, isn't that nice so you can cut those up you can either uh, watercolor those and turn those into something really cool but i'm gonna put this book with the roses and the uh, binders Okay, Morning Glories, Creeper, um, that's nice. Sometimes it's really hard for me to look at, not hard in a negative way, but difficult to look at plant books because my family, my great grandmother and my auntie were great auntie. The ones, the the one that you guys kind of, if you've been on my channel for a long time, know who I'm talking about because she was still alive when I had my YouTube channel. Um, it's so hard to look at these books because I remember so many plants. They were plant lovers and they all had a green thumb. You know what I mean? My, yeah, they all had a green thumb. So anyway, there's that one and <clears throat> that one's really nice. Okay, this is going to be, let me put the lot, the item number. This is going to be item number 22. So you can name your price on what you would pay for these items here. Okay. And I have this gorgeous 
um, plate that is vintage. I had several of these. I sold one with a chicken, I think, and I think I kept one for myself, and I'm trying to remember what it was of. It was, oh, it was a Civil War drum. Um, this one is a beautiful uh, little tribute to firefighters, and it's vintage. It's, um... Lipper and Man, I guess is what that's called. Probably made in Japan. I can't see right now. There we go, if you guys can see that. So that's really pretty. So that'll be a name your price, and that's going to be item number five. Okay. And what else do I have? I've got more stuff. Um, hang on. Hey guys, I'm changing item, um, the garden books, the roses, the roses and the garden books. I'm going to change that to item number 14. Okay. So that's going to be item number 14. Sorry about that. So make sure you have a pencil to write these things down or you can go back and the nice thing about it, the videos, you can go back and, and, um, look again. Okay. Um, let's see what else do I have? Okay, guys, so let me see if I could do this. I know there's a lot of shadowing here. Um, and, yes, yeah, so th these are, this This is an item. Sorry, my dogs are talking to each other and grouching to each other in the background. Sorry about that. But anyway, this is the Little Women, Louisa May Alcott. Bishop is antagonizing Smokey. <laughs> Oh, God. If it gets to be... Guys, I might have to do this, finish this up, like, tomorrow. Um, my husband um, will be here, and um, that way he can he can control the situation so I can get to this. But anyway, I'll just go ahead and get through this, and sorry about the barking. Um, this is Little Women, Louisa May Alcott. This is, this is a really big book. Um, it measures... Let me see, seven and three, four by nine and three, four. And it's so, it's just in such good condition. It's just like so perfect to uh, make into a journal. This cover is with some of these images in here. Um, the pages are not matte. They're kind of, kind of glossy like, I guess is what you could say. Like, or semi-glossy and this version is uh let me show you some of the pictures i should slow down right like this is a really nice picture that would be really cute in a christmas book um there's another larger image there um that's one where they're around the piano and there's more in here, but I'm just flipping so fast. Um, <clears throat> let me see what the date is on here. It is, this is fairly contemporary, 2004. So this is going to be just one, whatever you feel like you want to pay for that. Um, as long as your bid is not lower than somebody else's, it is all yours. I think this cover would be great for um, a journal. Um, I think it would be great for a journal with someone who had a lot of girls or granddaughters. Yep, I think that would be cool. So that's going to be item number three. Okay, and um, there it is there, item number three. And then I've got these two are Walt Disney Storyland. This one I just got at an estate sale. I can't remember. It was the one my mom and I went to before. You guys haven't seen any of those videos. I'll show you later. Um, it's got some writing right here. and um, But I just love these Disney images. They're so cool. And with Disney, of course, you have to be careful. But if you're making a journal to gift to somebody and you're using these pages, it's totally okay. You just can't reproduce them. You know what I mean? And, and um, you can't reproduce them or... Um, you know scan them and all that kind of stuff but you guys already know that most of you do anyway um 
So yeah, it's got some. Oh, I love these um, these Cinderella images. They're really cool. I think I put these in a kit one time for somebody who wanted a princess um, kit. You know, just a small princess pack, princess theme pack. I'm so behind on requests for different. I had several people ask me for different themes, and I just can't find the time. You know, which is why I don't do custom orders really for kits. I just don't because I, it just takes me freaking forever. And it drives me crazy um, to take, <clears throat> excuse me, to take that long to do something. You know what I mean? It's just like, it just drives me nuts. The coloring here changes. I've had a book like this before. There's Alice in Wonderland. There. Um... Yeah, so there's some images of Alice there. But it's just got a lot of really nice pictures and stuff in it that you can cut out. And sometimes what's really interesting, I think, is like, I think it's cool to cut some of these images out and put them on your thank you notes. Make your own thank you notes. And cut some of these images out and put them on your thank you notes. Um, I, I think that that would be really a neat way and sort of make it like a tag or whatever. But I love this cover to be turned into a journal. Um, it's kind of got, you know, it's got a little wear here. Um, hopefully you can see that. Let me turn the light out. My dogs can see. They can see better than I can. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can see that a little bit better. So it's got some wear here. Stop, guys. Um, here at the top, right there is a little bit of wear, and here, and then, um, the corners right there. So that's that one, and then with this one comes this one. This is called Disney's Wonderful World of Knowledge. I forgot I had this book until I started organizing. <laughs> I just completely forgot about it, but it's so cool because it has, like, real pictures in it. But it also has Disney pictures in it. So, um, yeah, there's cats and and dogs. There's a Disney image there. Um, oh, I don't think my bishop is going to be like that. That's a, herd, a, a herding dog. A dog that herds cattle, probably. Um, but... He's just so adorable, but he's, oh God, you can hear some, how frustrated Smokey is. Not all the time. He's not always frustrated. They play a lot, but Smokey gets tired easily because he's older. So he gets tired pretty fast. And when he's trying to sleep, Bishop being a nana, nana, nana kind of puppy literally just bugs Smokey and um, Smokey gets grouchy. So, but he, he loves him. He, he plays with him too, but he, sometimes he's just like so tired. All of us are tired. Um, yeah, and see there's some um, Alice images there with these images. Water Lords. So yeah, that's really cool. I like this one. Um, this one is dated. <coughs> Let me see when it's dated. Uh, 1982 so that's a 1982 this one did I give you the date on this one I don't think I did this one is 1962 yeah 1962 and measurements I think I measured this one this one's 10 and a quarter by seven and a half 10 and a quarter by eight Okay, so those are together, and those are going to be lot. I mean, um, item 40. So, and I'm not saying the reason why I'm using item as opposed to lots, guys, is because I'm trying to see it as just one thing, you know what I mean? Like, one, even though there's more than two things, um, that'll I don't know, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> okay, so what else do I have? Um, Oh boy, what else do I have? I have some other, oh, I have this tin can. This is really cool. Bishop, what are you doing? 
um, this tin can is really pretty. This is um, sort of like Indian style, Indian Asian style. And it's got it's got um, different images all around. It's just so pretty. And um, I think this is a Benadre. My mom used to love Benadre. It was like a it was like a um, Benadre was like a bath crystal. And I remember my mom every time she'd run her bath water when I was um, a young girl, she would. It just would smell so good. They would be blue um, uh, water crystals. My mom loved it. So there's that one. Okay. And you can pay um, whatever you think this one is worth. Let me open the inside. Let me see if I can get it open. Now, um, oh God, I can't get it open, guys. Hang on. Let me try and get it open off camera. Okay, guys, I can't get this top off of here. It's coming off somewhat, but I'll get my husband to do it when he gets here. I don't want to mess it up. Um, he can do it a lot faster than I can. But this one is going to be item number 38. Okay, so that's that one. And I also have, hang on a second. I think I have a little bit more time. Yes, hold on. Okay. Um... So this is going to be two lots. So this one is called um, Favorite Fairy Tales, if you can see that. And the date on this one is 1990. And it's just, a, I love these images. Look how cute those are. Aren't those adorable? Look at all the flowers and the animals. A zebra and a giraffe. There's a panda, panda bear. I think it's just so cute. There's Rapunzel in the forest. Um, Cinderella. Jack and the Beanstalk. So it's just a compilation of, um, you know, the old fairy tales and stuff like that. Um, Sleeping Beauty. And The Prince and the Pea. <laughs> I love these kind of books. Hansel and Gretel. These are so fun. Snow White. She looks very different there. Very different Snow White. There. So this one is going to be part of... Let's see. Fairy Tales. Rose in My Garden. And um, A House for Me. And then there's these three. Whoops. So this one, okay, this one measures, let's see, 11 by 8 and 3, 4. And then this one, um, hang on a second here, guys. Sorry. Um, the Rose in My Garden. And this one has the library um, little thingy thingy in it, um, you know, that you can easily peel off. I'm leaving it there. This one is dated. Um, he's doing that because Bishop is biting his ears. That's why he's um, doing that. Um, let's see. 1984. So there's that. So this is, look at the cat. I wish I would have remembered. I, oh, look at the sunflowers and all those pretty flowers. I wish I would have remembered this um, for a custom order for someone who wanted some cat stuff. Because I could have um, dismantled this one. Look at the hummingbird. This one's really pretty. Look at the fat bee. I love bees. They're just so fat. Look at the, um, what do you call those? Zenias? I guess is what those are. Bishop, what do you have in your mouth? Oh, it's their their toy. Okay, yeah. So there's that one. And this one, did I give you measurements on this one? It is. I'm going to make this the last part, guys. I'm going to post this, try to get this um, kind of, sort of edit it and post it tonight. Eight and a quarter by ten and ten and an eighth. 
And then this one, a house is a house for me. This one is really cool too. Um, this one is dated uh, 1978. And it's really cute. I just love it so much. It's so cute. It's got all of these happy pictures in here. Flowers again. Lots and lots of, um, look at that. Isn't that cute? And, um, there's an Alice image there. Look at that. The Mad Hatter. That's a really uh, cool image. I don't see that too often. They usually all, all look the same, those Alice images. So yeah, there's that one. So this is going to be lot um, 32, uh, item 32. I keep saying lot. Item 32, please don't hit my tripod, little boy. Um, okay, and then we've got this one. This is the, this is called the, um, this one is called The Ugly Duckling. You guys are familiar with that story. Oh, i got to hurry. My phone's going to stop. I'm going to make this the last um, item lot, guys, and then I'll, I'll start again tomorrow. If I can get some more done when my husband gets home, I might, if the lighting is okay. I might be able to do it. It looks like it might work. It's dark outside now. So there's that. And the old lady and her chickens. <laughs> Ducks, so pretty. I just love children's books. They're just so much fun. And this one doesn't have a date in it anywhere. It's got a, I, a um, ISBN number. Oh, wait, here it is in the back. 1981. And this one measures... Ooh, hurry, Renee, 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 hurry. Uh-oh, it's flashing. I think I'll stop here, guys, and I'll pick up with this lot um, later. Okay? All right, 